County family frantically searching for their missing sister who they say could be in danger. The family says 38 year old Amanda Hinman was, uh, has mental disorders and also suffers from delusions. And on Tuesday, Hinman left a note for her family saying she was going to get money and she hadn't been seen since. Our Haley Brooks joins us now in studio. And Haley, what does the family say the note means? Bob Ashley, the family tells me Hinman has been talking about having to go to New York because the Illuminati group has money for her. So that's where the family believes she's headed. Now this is a picture of Hinman and the car that she left in. Biggest fear will be that we won't ever see her again. This Pope County family is searching every avenue for answers on how to track Amanda Hinman. There's nothing we can rule out at this point. We know nothing. Stephanie Ladd is Hinman's little sister. She says on Tuesday, Hinman walked out of her home where she lives with her mom and kids. She hasn't been seen since, but she did leave a note. She says, I have to go pick up my money. I'll be back in a few days. The van is at Pilot. Amanda. Hinman suffers from schizoaffective disorder with psychotic tendencies. Her delusion right now is that the Illuminati has got money for her in New York. Family members like brother-in-law Eric Ladd argue without a phone, she would have no idea how to get to New York. And without medication, she may only think she's in New York. You take away the average person's cell phone and a map, you know, GPS guidance. Um, how can you drive to New York right now? Her family tells me one of the biggest dangers is that Hinman takes a lot of medication, but didn't bring any with her. Without the medication, she can have seizures, not know where she is, or even who she is. If she if she continues to go without her medications, it's it's highly highly likely that we won't ever see or hear from her again. Hinman left in her mother's car, but since she's listed on the insurance, they can't report it stolen or missing. So if you see anything, call Pope County Sheriff's Office. Bob Ashley, back to you.